All right, folks, this is Rabble Rousing Rich Bergeron here with Dom Wooding from the UK. And uh, he's heavy into training for a big Bellator fight coming up. He's got a developmental contract and looking forward to chatting with him here. How's it going, Dom? Yeah, it's going good. How's it going? Great. And uh, whereabouts are you over there in the UK? I'm currently residing in uh, East London, in um, in Hackney. Oh, awesome! Or, originally, originally from London. Great. And how did you get uh, on track here with Bellator? What you what uh, what did you do to get on their radar, basically? Can I hear you, Bob? again. How did you get on uh, Bellator's radar? How, how how did you get involved with the organization, basically? All right, because um, before they started doing the uh, Bellator European series, um, when they were in the world cup uh, doing it, they, they were scooping up. They were scooping up um, quite a few European fighters uh, to sign for the European series. So, because um, I was fighting on the show called Bama, um before I signed, but. Uh, but my last fight was with a different organization before I signed to, um, before I signed to um, uh, Bellator. I was fighting on uh, ATB at mm-hmm. the time. So, but beforehand, before then, I was fighting for a show called Bellator. So now that, that show is defunct now. So once that show folded, um, once Bellator Europe, Europe came in, they started scooping up uh, quite a lot of uh, European fighters, especially from, from that promotion battle. Awesome. And then they offered me a contract. So what's it like working with them so far? Yeah, it's great. It's great. I've, 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 signed, I've signed with them for over two years now. Um, they've, they've, they, they, they've looked after me well, as well as, as, well as, some, as, well as other fighters as well, within, within, within the promotion. And um, I'm enjoying my time uh, fighting on fighting on Bellator. And I can't wait to um, fight next week again in, uh, in Paris. Sweet. Uh, and what would you say is your you have a favorite strike or a technique that you use a lot? Mm, different variations. Um, different variations. I, I, I do like. I do. Mm, I don't know, man. Every every shot I throw, every every shot I throw is dangerous. You know what I mean? So, right. I'm gonna just say shot that I throw is my favorite technique. Yeah, I've been looking at your record, and, and I noticed that. Um, Every win is pretty much wipe them out. <laughs> Don't give them a chance. Yeah. Every yeah, time you've won. So. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent finish rate. Yeah, that's awesome. Hundred percent finish rate. We don't miss the belt, right? <laughs> awesome. Uh, and and what's the secret to that style as far as um, you know getting those results almost every time you step in there and get a win? <clears throat> Do you have a um, secret? Just, just being able to outsmart uh, my opponents, and 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 just basically, and just basically, and just basically, just basically being a sniper. If you, if you watch my fights, you can see, you can see with my within my style, uh, 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 I strike like a sniper. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like a marksman. Right. Yeah. Yeah, when I boxed in college, I was always more of a defensive fighter. I would wait for that perfect opportunity, and sometimes that can. Kind of come back to haunt you in a longer fight, but in the shorter fights, oh, it's. I mean, you have to do it um, if if that's what you're good at, and you know you can hit yeah. that button perfectly. Um, it's it's worth waiting for that perfect shot. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, offensively, off- offensively. Yeah. I can catch you from anywhere. Defensively, offensively. You get what I'm saying? Right. Defensively intelligent. And intelligent, and intelligent going forward. Now, how did you first get into fighting uh, as a young? Was it as a young person, or would you, was it as you know um, somebody older? Or? <clears throat> no, it was from, it was from a friend of mine. A friend of mine. Uh, he was he was training uh, at jiu-jitsu at the time, and um, around that time, I was I was still playing soccer, as you guys would call it. We call it football in there. Yeah, that's how I started too. Believe it or not, and, um, over here in the United he got States. To, he got in, yeah, yeah. He got to, because um, I got to an age with playing soccer where, um, I, I, a certain age where it gets a bit difficult to, to, to make it into the professional system. Do you get what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. I thought to myself, if, 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 if things don't go how I, how, I, how I planned for things to go within my football career, 
then I'll take up then I'll take up MMA. So at the same time, so just before I um, finished playing fo- football, I, w- I, w- I started training uh, jiu-jitsu with my, with, uh, with my friend, and um, and then and then I pecked in I pecked in uh, football, and after I started training the, the jiu-jitsu with my, with, with my boy, and um, and then we moved over we moved we moved over to doing uh, Muay Thai, and then and then we got MMA. So I've been around martial arts. I'd say. Uh, about 10 years now. Wow. Very strong basis to start with, too. Uh, you, you pretty much need both more than anything else. Uh, I mean, wrestling, obviously, is a little bit different, but, uh, you know, having the yeah, jiu-jitsu sure, first sure. is huge because almost all your submissions <laughs> come sure, from sure. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, you know, that's the one thing. I, I've tried to kind of set up myself for you know, at least one amateur MMA fight. It was kind of before my time when I was in college it hadn't really right, right. taken off yet but I still want to get one in before I'm 45 because I boxed amateur and I'd love to just get one oh, MMA you, fight oh, in you still want to get one in? yeah yeah and, uh, yeah you know. but you should man. No, no, man. it's good to, good to just get, get the experience even if you're doing fun just yeah. get the experience because not a lot of people not a lot of people have the balls to, to, to step in and, and you as a reporter as well like a lot of reporters have the Foot inside the cage ring, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, it'll be good for you to, 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 to get that experience for sure. Yeah, I trained for like a week, like two years ago, and and pretty much was on my way, and then I got shingles, so that threw me threw me off yeah. the course. But this year, okay. <laughs> this year I'm, I'm going back for it. Definitely gonna gonna plan to to get it done. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm not sure, man. Definitely. as far as you go, um. What do you know about your opponent coming up here? Is there any uh, anything that you know about him? Have you watched tape or anything like that? Yeah, I've, 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 I've seen some tape. I've seen some tape on him, and uh, including my coaches as well and uh, my team. Um, he seems he seems like uh, he seems like he seems like an explosive fighter. Like he seems like he's gonna be strong, but um, technically he's not as technically as sound as me. But like I said, he shrimps. I would say he shrimps though. Uh, his explosiveness and 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 and, um, and his strength, I would say. But you never know. We never know. I could go in there. And he might not feel strong as he might not feel as strong as I as, as I may think. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um, right. But that 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 tends to fade. That tends to fade within within the free round. Do you know what I mean? You can't you fade your 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 strength fade. Do you know what I mean? As the fight goes on, and I, I, I feel like I, I know. It's not even I feel like I know. I bring I bring I bring experience. This fight, you know what I'm saying. So most of um, most of the uh, um, most of the fights that he's had has been on his been on his uh, head coach's show. So obviously, if you look at his record, if you look at his record, his resume, you see the type of opponents that he finds. Jimmy's always the uh, with his head coach matching him, uh, giving him those fights and match and, and handpicking his fights. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he's six and zero right now. Yeah, but um, he's gonna he's gonna quickly. Do I quickly realized in there that he, he, he's not he's not in there with uh, one of those other guys that he's he's faced. You get what I'm saying? So I bring I bring I bring that experience into this fight. Like he's not faced the the, the caliber of the, the the level of opponents that I that, that I faced in the past. You get what I'm saying? So he's gonna quickly realize in there that he's he's he's, he's in there with one of the other guys that he's faced. Do you know what I mean? So. Big yeah. step up, we call that, right? <laughs> it's gonna be a big step up. Yeah, for him. yeah, 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 yeah. He may look. Like that, you yeah. And um, do you have anybody out there that you have to watch yourself all the time whenever they fight? Any heroes in the industry or people you look up to? Sorry. Is there anybody that uh, you really have to watch when they fight? Like, uh, do you have? Are you a fan of any of the big fighters, or is there somebody out there in the industry that you you think of as a hero? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, obviously, like, yeah, of course, like, obviously, like, me personally, I don't have no hero. You know, what I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't idolize anybody. You know, what I mean, I don't, I don't idolize no man. But obviously, I take from, I take from the fighters. You know, what I mean, whether it's, whether it's from MMA, from from MMA, to boxing, whether it's from boxing to MMA, from MMA to boxing, you get what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, and 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 different martial arts. You get what I'm saying? So. um in terms of MMA, yeah, obviously, like, obviously, there's, 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 there's a lot of fights that I watch that that that, that fight that have similar styles, to, uh, uh, like me. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um, obviously, like 
my favorite my favorite fight of all times is Anderson Silva. And um, if you watch my fights, you can see the things I do is like him because he 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 got me into this sport. When I when I first fight, I first he was one of the first fighters that I saw. And when I first saw him, I was I was just amazed by by his skill set. And 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 I thought to myself, oh, I I, I could I could, I could be like this guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you watch my fights, I do a lot. I do a lot of techniques and a lot of things in fights that a lot of fights that. Don't, that don't uh, a lot of fights that uh, don't attempt to do. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. so if you if you watch if you watch my style uh, closely, you'll be able you be you you'll be able to see. I actually got to see John Jones on the circuit before he got to the UFC. He was in a little New England fight here that I watched Sorry? in Connecticut. I actually got to watch John Jones back when he first started, before he got to the UFC. Um, and talk about bringing something new, you know. Oh, he, right, before you go to the UFC. Yeah, and he was still, I mean, he was doing those uh, the unique things back then uh, that nobody else was doing. And and then he got some real training out in Albuquerque oh, and became so great. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, yeah. that is key. That is really key. You yeah, have to it, do stuff it, different it. than everybody else because it's yeah, gotten yeah. so predictable, especially with the striking. You know, everybody knows everything now. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> 100%. And the thing is, like, the, the landscape of the sport is always changing. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. MMA's evolved, changing, like, nearly, like, every month. You get what I'm saying? Young, young guns are starting to come up now. Do you get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. just the new generation of fighters coming up and... You, 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 you're seeing a lot of you're seeing a lot of uh, athletic fighters you get what I'm saying like you're seeing athletes now you're not seeing like brawlers and thrallers you know what I mean from like 10 years ago you know what I mean like landscape just the landscape changes it's changing constantly you get what I'm saying so the sport's moving fast as well so you're, 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 you're bound to see covers and young guns coming, coming through the ranks you get what I'm saying yeah definitely even like myself, even like myself, like I'm only 24, I'm still a young guy in this game. But the thing is, there's guys, there's guys behind me that are coming up as well. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm not. So obviously, obviously, I I, I uh, acknowledge that as well. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's one of those things where you can never be comfortable with the skill set you have. You know, you always have to develop it to the 100%. next level. 100 percent. And um. 100%. It's like, for example, like, it's like, for example, people see me as just a striker in MMA, but the thing is, they don't get a chance to see my all-round game because most, most of the time my fights are, majority of my fights are, are from standing and, and most of my fights are, 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 are finishing with me finishing my opponent, you get what I'm saying? So, like, like I said, like, not a lot of people has, has seen my, my uh, all-round game. Like, even like in my, in my, uh, in my um, resume, I ain't, I ain't even got no subs in my resume. Do you get what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I've got some, uh, 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 some some tricks up my sleeve. Do you know what I mean? So, so, um, so, so there's a lot more. To sh- do you know what I'm saying? It, it, it than 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 just my striking. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Now, how about your ultimate goal? Do you have a big ultimate plan for the sport? Where you want to end up? Yeah, for sure. Like, like obviously, it's as cliche as it sounds. Like every 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 fighter that 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 that's doing it seriously. They obviously want to be one of the best or all the best or they want to be a goat you know what I'm saying so like obviously I didn't get into this sport just to just to uh, be another number I going to I going to, 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 to make an impact you know what I'm saying so obviously my goal is just to make an in, impact and, 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 and to, leave, to leave a solid imprint behind when I'm, when I'm done in this game you know what I'm saying and, and just to reach the pinnacle of this of this game do, do you know what I'm saying in terms of in terms of being in terms of being a top uh, a, a top file you know what Champion within what, within whatever organization that I, that I fight for. So obviously I'm with Bellator. Obviously my eyes are set. My eyes are set on that title. But obviously that has to come uh, within time. With, uh, with, with with obviously me. With obviously me with, within my fights and, 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 and getting the right fights and, and fighting the right people in order in order for me to get there. You know what I'm saying. So obviously I want to leave a huge imprint. A huge imprint in this sport. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? And, and just for for for, for 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 young kids uh, that get into Coming up, just 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 leave an imprint and 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 and, and, and show an example of, of of how of how to uh, get it done. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. Good there. Um, as far as uh, the whole sport in general, you know, being involved 
uh, from the beginning, what would you say is the thing that you love most about mixed martial arts? What would you know, you say? Yeah. I just, I just love the, 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 the competitiveness of that, of that sport, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, like, it's, like, it's not like, it's not like any of us, it's not like football, baseball, basketball, it's not, it's, it's not a team sport, it's all, it's all, it's all solely it's just down on one athlete, you know what I'm saying? So I like, I like the aspects of that and, and, and get the attention of that, you get what I'm saying? And also, the, 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 the uh, the small perks as well, getting to travel, to, getting to travel, to, uh, getting to travel around the world. You know, I mean, getting to travel around the world for free. Do you get, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you, um, you get paid to kick people's asses. And you get paid to p- kick people's asses all over the world too, exactly, right? <laughs> exactly, you get, exactly, you, exactly. You get, you get paid. You get paid to, um, you get paid to have a terror. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Not a lot of people. A small percentage of people get to experience it do that and the thing is a lot of people don't have the balls to do it, you know what I'm saying so yeah. it's just it's, it's, it's something that, it's something that's outside the box that a lot of people that, that a lot of people will even try, try to do you know what I mean so yeah, it's, it's, I mean, you, you don't even have to be that great as a fighter, but if you're known as a fighter, people just give you extra respect. You know, I noticed that from, from being a coach in a, in a boxer 100%. in college. You know, what, you know what, you know what, it's true, even being in, even in being in situations outside of the gym and outside of fighting, yeah. it's like, if you get in a situation outside and uh, that people know you as a fighter, it just gives you, it just gives you an, uh, an excuse not to, not to, to, um, get yourself in trouble if you get what I mean, and um, because obviously people, if they see you as a fighter, like oh, this guy's a fighter, we're gonna leave dialogue kind of thing. Do you know what, <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you're gonna need to take it, take it easy with this guy. We don't want to yeah. piss him off. <laughs> yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. You exactly know what I mean. Now, is there anything in training that you do um, that separates yourself from anybody else? Anything special that, that gets you ready for a fight? Is there any anything anything in training that you do that's uh, unique to you or something that really um, helps you out that uh, is maybe a little bit different or not different, but just something that's essential to you know getting you the win? You know, just obviously just like just just putting in just putting in the work. Do you know what I mean? Like just putting in the work. Like like for example, like I'm I'm coming up a lot going into this fight, so obviously. Obviously going into this fight, obviously I'm going in there to win, so obviously it's like just putting in the work, just putting in the work, just putting in the graph, putting in the work and, and, and just showing up and, 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 and getting and getting the results that I, that I deserve through through my training, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's usually yeah. putting in the road work yeah. for us in, in boxing when I boxed in college, uh, it, you know, it was it was one of those things where I was going to a different school that semester. I was doing an exchange program. And so they sent me down to Virginia, and they had an actual boxing right. program there, and I was coaching the club team at my school before that. So I go down there, and they've got a Marine Corps oh. colonel running the program, and, and he started us running. Oh, and, and I was out of shape, but, right. you know, within a few months of putting in the work, you know, I was right back in it, and, you know, I went to nationals exactly. that year, so exactly. that was exactly. cool. You guys see, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like with um, not even just going to MMA, just just in anything. It's like you can be you could be a gifted athlete. You could be the most technical athlete. But the thing is, it's like there could be someone that's that's way less technical than you, and they work they're harder. Work, they're not. They're putting yeah. the work. They're not putting in as much work as they're putting in, and then they yeah. they they have better results than you because, because perfect example, the guy. The guy who beat Michael Page in Bellator. <laughs> Talk yeah, about Dr. We're putting in the work. Dr. Yeah. So that, yeah, that, yeah, nobody like, expected like, him to lose. Like, obviously, that's why. Like, I listened to the. I knew it was going to be a tough matchup. You get what I'm saying? The things of Dr. Seaman in that fight, he, was, he has to be very patient with Michael Page because Michael Page is a very tricky customer. You get what I'm saying? He yeah. has to wait time and shot in order for him to catch him. You get what I'm saying? So. Styles make fights. All right. Uh, tell everybody where they can find you online. Do you have any profiles, social media, anything like that? Yeah. Uh, 
you can find me on my uh, Instagram um, at Real D Wooding. Uh, my Twitter is the same. It's the same handle as my Instagram at, at Real D Wooding. You can find me on my uh, Facebook athletes page uh, Dominic Wooding. Um, also, you can follow my uh, my my, uh, my brand with with with, with uh, my other business partners via Money. Um, you can check them on uh, Instagram, Twitter um, at, at at Violent underscore Money, and uh, check check the website out as well. And uh, make make um, some purchases awesome alright well I look forward to watching your rise through the ranks there in Bellator and um, you know I do a lot of business back and forth with uh, Bellator I promote all their stuff on my website and um, you know I know they're a very good company to work for they take care of their people and Scott Coker really cares sure. about fighters because he was one you know which is a big difference between him and yeah, yeah. Dana yeah. Daniel was a boxer size instructor. He was never a real fighter, so... Yeah, 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 I know that, yeah. Coker is a great guy, and I'd love to actually get him in an interview one of these days, but um, he's obviously probably too busy for that. Yeah, but he's trying to get my name. Yeah. Sure. Keep up the good work, we'll track you, and um, we'll, I'll, we'll let you know how to reach the interview, how to get the interview online and promote it for you, and... Uh, you know, yeah, share it with your friends and all that. Well, it was great talking to you. Um, I definitely wish you luck, although I don't think you need it. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in action. Well, thanks very much, man. Appreciate that. You're welcome. You have a good day. And you too. Or night over there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Have a good one. Thanks.